Hey guys, it's Rose, and today is gonna be, um, kind of a rant, but not really. Um, uh, for those of you that don't know, there has been clown sightings, killer clown sightings. I don't know, really know what kind of clowns they are or whatever. In my town, um, the state, and other states and um, a lot of people are freaking out which is understandable and uh, for those of you that are not taking it seriously I implore you to please take it seriously because there are people that are getting hurt in Pennsylvania there was a boy that was stabbed and killed a young boy like 14 to 16 I believe and people have been chased. They chased a pregnant lady who could easily start into labor and the baby could die, she could die. You know, people need to take this shit seriously. And the people that are making fun of those that are scared, please stop. It doesn't matter that they're dressed as clowns. That's, that's not the point. The point is that they're chasing people they're hiding and just showing up with menacing fucking looks and some of them even have weapons. I'm sorry, if somebody came at me with a weapon, I don't care if they're dressed as freaking Santa Claus or My Little Pony or something. I don't give a fuck what you're dressed like. If you're coming at me with a weapon, you're getting maced or stabbed. <laughs> I don't care. Like, don't come at me like that. Or my friends, or family, or anything like that. The main reason everybody's freaking out, though, is because some of them are targeting schools. Um, I know in the town I live in, there was a threat to children. Well, it might not be in the town I live in. I think it was in Missouri. But there's been threats towards children and schools. And with everything going on, with a lot of school shootings and stuff going on lately, they have a right to be scared. And just because it's a clown doesn't make it any less scary. I mean, I'm not afraid of clowns, but somebody chasing at you with a weapon or somebody chasing you in, in general is scary. And these people don't know how to react. And for the people that are doing it, please just stop the stupidity seriously because you, whether you're doing it for attention or whether you're doing it because you think it's funny um, you need to stop because it's not funny and you're gonna get hurt or you're gonna hurt somebody else because people they they don't mess around especially when it comes to their kids so if you're gonna run up on somebody you, you're gonna get hurt or they are trying to protect themselves or whoever's with them. So please stop, especially with Halloween coming up because I know that already in towns they're talking about like having an event for Halloween instead of actually having Halloween because of these stupid clowns. And it's stupid. I mean, in my town we've already had like lots of precautions with Halloween. Um, if you watched my video, my first video on a, a killer, which was in my town, um, ever since that happened, we've always had police around on Halloween. They're always going around, and now they're going around all kinds of places because there have been sightings in my town. Um, I guess one was arrested at a grocery store in my town. So please just stop, it's, it's not funny. And some people think it's promotion for it, which I know for a fact Stephen King would not want you to be dressing up as clowns and scaring people for promotion for his movie. I can guarantee that. And if you wanna go as a clown for Halloween, I, I would suggest not doing that. <laughs> and. This thing, I, and this is the part I love. They're trying to say that it's also the Juggalos and um, Insane Clown Posse 
trying to get their merchandise sold. Which is fucking stupid. For one. I mean, how would that help them? I mean, they just got um, done with a lawsuit because people were trying to call them a gang or something. And it's stupid because they're not. They're a, a group. And yeah, they have juggalos, but what is everybody else? I mean, half the artists that do produce songs or whatever have names for their listeners and their, and their, um, their fans. And just because you don't like it doesn't mean that they're evil. Sorry. I'm I am an ICP fan. And I think it's stupid. People are just trying to start stuff that doesn't need to be started. Which I understand they're afraid. But these people that are doing this are not. They're not for ICP. They're not for the movie yet. And if they are, they're freaking stupid. And... They need to be locked up somewhere very far away. But uh, I implore you guys to please be careful and um, please don't dress up as a clown anytime soon. And uh, especially on Halloween because they're going to be looking for that. And um, if you know anyone that does this, please t t either talk to them or report them because for their safety and for the safety of others and um, hopefully this stuff gets done with soon because we have enough problems in this country sorry I have an itch in this country with, without us fucking crossing each other and hurting each other it's just it's stupid guys it's stupid and I don't like it <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a I'm a little hyper. I had a, I had quite a day today. But anyway, that's really all I wanted to talk about. Um, and uh, please keep your thoughts with the uh, boy's family of who was stabbed to death. Um, any of this information you can look up on the internet. Pretty sure they have it. I know there was clowns in Missouri. I think South Carolina. I think Missouri was the one where these clowns were trying to lure kids into the forest. That's scary as fuck. I know if I had kids, I would not. Uh -uh. My kids would be locked up. <laughs> and when a clown came near them. <laughs> They'd be on the ground. Knocked out. I'm not I'm not hurting anybody unless there's a reason, I swear. <laughs> I just I don't understand why people are doing this stupid shit. I mean, we have enough to worry about in this day and age with fucking everything else going on and then they start this dumb shit. And I, I see where people, I see where people get, you know, it's stupid, they're just playing around and stuff, but if you start a movement, well not really a movement, but if you start something stupid like this, the people that are fucking psychotic and uh, are looking for a way to release their rage or whatever are gonna start doing it. And you just give them a way because if they dress up as a clown, you can't tell who they are unless you actually like freaking beat them up or something. And you're just giving them a way to release their anger and it's not helping anybody. I don't understand people. I did, I did, I did. I now I remember why I'm a hermit. And all I do is play video games. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, my series on horror stuff will be back eventually. I don't know when, but it should be. If you guys have any people you would like me to, rep well, not really report on, but anybody you would like me to research about and tell you guys about, please leave that. 
And if you guys have any advice on this clown thing, or if you have sightings in your area, we can talk about that as well. Please guys, just be safe. And please don't add to this um, in any way. Because all you're doing is making people scared and scared people never, it never ends well. Especially on a large basis. Um, really that's it. So like I said, please be safe. Um, if you see any clowns, report them or do what you need to do. No, I'm not saying harm them. <laughs> Just get away from them and report them as soon as possible. And if you're one of the people doing this, please stop. Because this only harms and it does no good and it's not funny. And if you're one of the people scared, believe me, I feel you there. But don't go out to hurt somebody just because they're dressed as a clown. I mean, if they threaten you or yours, you have all the right in the world to do whatever you need to do. I mean, I know in West Virginia they actually signed a law. Well, it's not a law, but they... Well, I heard this. I don't know if it's actually true or not, so don't quote me, but apparently in West Virginia you're allowed to defend yourself against the clowns. So, if you get hurt by somebody because you're dressed as a clown, you can't do anything because they have a right to defend themselves. And that state, I think, is open carry. So I'd be careful. <laughs> um, anyway, that's it for the video. Um, if you have any links to any like websites or info on this, please send them to me. I'd like to learn more about it and keep up with it because I have nephews and a niece and I have people I care about and I need all the information I can get. If you'd like any more information, please let me know. I might make a second video depending on what goes on. And like the video if you liked it. I don't see how you like it because it's about killer clowns, but you never know. People are into some weird shit. Love you guys. And uh, comment anything you want to comment. Just please be respectful. Please keep in your thoughts the little boy. And subscribe if you haven't because I have more content like this and other stuff coming eventually. Just let me know what you guys want to see. I mean, I'm all alone here and I don't know what people like and what people don't like. And I'm not one of those people that go to trending because I can't really afford the stuff that's trending. So, hey. But, um, anyway, bye guys and stay safe. And I love you all.